hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm showing you my luro area kitchen so i'm standing on the door and when you enter you'll see the seats and this is african kitchen guys this is african kitchen in luro area in ushago at moranga and this is how the kitchen look like you see that is the table where we put our mm, flask, hot pots, and as you can see, the pots are of like black because we use this three stone Chico or Meko, the old one, the one our grandmothers and grandfather used to use, where you use the firewoods. Here there is no charcoal. Use this one, the firewood, to cook everything from there. And actually we have two of them. And as you can see there we have our pan. We have been cooking chapati lately because we had visitors. So that's our pan. And on the second left we have the other three stone chico also using the firewood because here we don't have gases and and uh, charcoal we use firewood at the corner there guys you will see my phone and also there is a chopping board <laughs> oh my goodness that is a chopping board so big so big so big for like last time we slaughtered that goat and that is where we use to cut the goat and also to cut the tomatoes and everything so that is our chopping board so this is how we do it guys and as you can see we have another small chair there you know that small chair um it's where we sit when you're cooking because it's near the jiko and you will be able to cook like if you're cooking ugari you see when you're cooking ugari there's a lot of smoke coming from that jiko so you must be near it so that you can be able to to cook because you can't cook when you're far on my and the other side here i have a sufria there there is a very there guys in the rural area kitchen you cannot lack to see githeri even if you are not eating it let me show you guys yeah that is githeri beef and maize mixed together and there is another one here Mm -hmm. maize and beans mixed together you cannot lack that in the Oruro area because like now there's people who are doing farming outside there others are doing because here it's Moranga we have a lot of uh, tea so people who are doing tea outside they will come like they have a break and they want to eat something so there is two flasks there which I have prepared tea so when they come from the chamber, like at around 12, they will have the, the plate of gideri and a cup of tea. So in the rural area kitchen, you must have gideri inside your kitchen or something else like ugari. Because people are working, there are those who are working in the chamber, like uh, bringing glass for the cows. So at times they need to eat. So you must have something in the kitchen. So that's how the kitchen look like. It's not a classic kitchen actually. It's very lulol, very simple. But you have to bear with smoke because smoke is everywhere. Like for me, I have drunk the smoke and until now I'm feeling that I'm comfortable with it. So that's how the kitchen look like. And as you can see, guys, there is a window there coming out the smoke because we are using firewood. 
and nothing you can do about it. So I want to take you at the back of this kitchen because we have the like in our city we have the dish rack where we put clothes. Now I was doing the dishes, I was washing them and when you immediately you finish washing the dishes, this is where we put the them. This is the dish rack. So this is actually it's a new dish rack, guys. It's a new dish rack. And um, I, yeah, I have to call it dish rack because it's where we put clothes after you are washing them. You will put them there. And you can see like have some buckets there for milking the cows. That's where we use the, them. We have like four cows, like, like four cows, and they have a lot of milk. So you have, you must have some, many of them. So that's where we have we put our dishes. And guys, let me tell you, the sufurias or the pots, they are black. You know, because we are, they are using firewood. Like, they are using firewood. Nothing you can do about that. Even if you wash them to become white, and the, then they are very clean. Within another second, they will turn like that. Because you are not using gas, you are not using charcoal, we are using firewood. And the smoke is coming up of the, 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 the pot, so nothing you can do about it. So that is the dish luck. That's how it look like. Outside the house, when you wash plates and you wash all the sufurias, you come and put them there. So this is the easiest life that we are living here in the rural area for the time being. And then it's very easy, guys. It's very easy because like sufurias, we don't have to do them like the way we, we do in the city. Just simple. Water and soap quickly and you are done with them because they don't need that much of washing. So that's how we do it here in Blue Roelia. As you can see down there, guys, down there you can see tea. And also we have bananas growing there and some fruits. I'll give you another tour of our shamba here, our tea, where they, are, they, they grow tea. And I'll show you how we do it guys and how it's growing for today that is my tour for our little kitchen african kitchen and that's how it look like uh, it's a beautiful that's where i have come from i was brought up there here and actually i was brought up here with that kitchen until i moved back to the city so that is how it looked like very simple very easy no gases no whatever no high classes things just simple and simple like that so that's the end of this video today guys please like share subscribe comment down there if you have come from far like me like in a rural area tell me how you do it in your rural area and how is it most of the rural area they are almost the same but you can tell me down there so that's this for today guys thank you for watching and please subscribe subscribe guys just subscribe and give me a like bye